I came out for the 1973 races. That's when he asked me to marry him. I married David and I married the races. So that's been our relationship over the last 48 years. I was pretty shrewd. I invited her to come out at race time when there was 1,500 or a couple of thousand people here. At any other time, there might have only been 52. Yeah. Short hair? Short hair, short skirt, yeah. Mm -hmm. Long sideies. Long sideies. Yeah. Long hair. Yeah. yeah, it was. Yeah, no, it was really fun. I've, I've run out of hair now. My grandparents first came to Birdsville in the late 1880s. My grandmother had a business here. It was the Royal Hotel over the road. And one of her brothers had twins here who uh, died of pneumonia, was a catalyst for more activity. And it was happening a fair bit out here. You know, people were dying because of lack of medical attention. And it was soon after that, that was John Flynn and that, that they, they got the flying doctors started uh, in little rag planes. The Brooks family have helped advocate for services out here to Birdsville, which is very essential really um, for us. Uh, also, when we have retrievals, so out on the remote properties, the Brooks family will help us with moving the patients, making sure their runways are suitable for us to land on. Yeah, we've been connected with Birdsville for a long time. With our six children, we have uh, just now, we've got the next generation of the Brook family living in Birdsville, and hopefully there'll be another generation there, after that. There's 12 grandchildren floating around. Families with children wouldn't want to stay in the outback if they didn't have access to a doctor. When you hear the plane land or you hear the plane leave, there's always a bit of a romance about it in, in a sense that, you, yeah, you know you're safe. We had friends of ours, they were managing a property and they had a really bad head-on accident. And I can remember she was not well and then about three o'clock that morning I heard the plane take off. And you thought, oh, you know, but she survived. So that was good. So the Brooks family are an integral part of the Birdsville community. Some would say they are Birdsville themselves, really. With their donations and fundraising, the Brooks family are always there to support flying doctors. Through the race clubs, we form a platform for the RFDS to raise funds. 40. You can't have a town in the outback like this without that sort of service.